Tan. Hi, I'm Nick. Uh, my name's Dan. Hello, I'm Chris. We're in the Ghost Cities. That was awful. We're in the Ghost Cities. In your twisted world. My favourite band really has got to be Foles. So I did everything about their sound I really like. And it's got, I've got quite a few influences. I kind of self-taught guitar and whatnot over the past couple of years, so I kind of developed my own personal style, which isn't majorly influenced by another band or whatnot. We're still kind of defining our genre, so once we've kind of know exactly what route we want to take with our music, I mean, a lot of our this new songs we're making are completely different to previous ones we've like already recorded or written, so. I'm actually on a gap here at the moment. I run a, a local events company, so I've got a job as well. I'm a barista <laughs> and uh, work in a bar, so that's all right. That's really, I don't really get up too much. I'm pretty boring. <laughs> I hope from this band I'll get to, you know, play festivals. When you come back, you always have a memory of like the favorite band that you've seen there, and I want our band to be that that memory for people. My biggest influence and hero, same time, Flea, Chili Peppers. If you play bass, there's no one better. He makes it like a, a main instrument rather than just something that sits underneath. Before a gig, I always think that if you don't, if you go on stage and you don't act and think that you're the best band in the world, no one else is gonna, because it's your music, so obviously you're gonna love it more than anyone. So deceiving. The band has a lot of potentials. We want to play in a big venue with a lot of people who enjoy our music. It's a great achievement where a lot of people listen to music and be happy. I study here at Bucks Uni doing art foundation. Also work part time in a takeaway, so have the money to go out. Rah, rah. On top of that, obviously, music, my hobby. In the music, never get stressed. Love it. Love what you do. Do what you love. Personal influences. Uh, the, big, the big one's got to be Bob Dylan. He speaks for himself. I hear anything he says, uh, like just the way he, uh, his perception of, li of life and just his characteristics is just appealing. Uh, I work a lot. Um, I play uh, play music a lot. We have a piano at work, yeah, uh, so I always sit on that. Usually when it's busy, you know, it sort of gets a crowd going and people will join in. I'm hoping you know we can make something of ourselves. People sort of acknowledge us and sort of like the music we play, get a feel for us. We used to call the group uh, Kingfisher back in the day. Back in the day, and now we just, I know we sat down and had a pint and we thought like, Indigo City's kind of more indie. I think Indigo we sort of thought, yeah. <laughs> indie. Yeah. We all came up with the concept why, sort of, um, at some point, but, you know, my, my own concept was sort of for bringing colour. To like uh, busy places, like sort, sort of showing like colourful music, a bit different, as, a, as opposed to the normal like black and white, and to go to seem like an appropriate colour. That's a very arty answer, I like. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'd say we've all got a unique kind of playing style. Like, yeah. Yeah. I literally really like, you really like Fun. kind of slap funky bass, yeah. and you can see that in a lot of the chili stuff. Yeah, a bit of a chili. Boy. And I, whenever I, a lot of my lead kind of lines is kind of hand picked loads of delay on my guitar and reverb and I've got that from Foles, Foles. Yeah. Yeah. and you've, you've always like had like been blues. blowing up with a lot of blues yeah. music yeah. so yeah. you've kind of taken that from Eric Clapton, Hendrix, Eric and then because Chris, because the music over there in Greece is completely different you yeah, used to have an old band yeah. and we listen to it, it's completely different to what we have now but it's good <sighs> I think, uh, it's a good of, rhythm style as well yeah, which is why it sort of works
Camp Studios in Bornend, Wuben. It's predominantly a recording studio. But they've got their live room is turned into yeah. kind of rehearsal space, which we have once a week. Like industrial estate, but it's proper nice. It's got like sort of very arty like carpets and it's stuff. It's got a good it. style to it. It's got, it's got, nice, it's got a nice rug style. in there. Yeah, <laughs> nice <laughs> rug. You got uh, like kitchen. Yeah. Well, yeah, they've got space. a fridge as well, which is normally got. <laughs> yeah, it's always stocked with beer actually. I think, yeah. which is. So I was thinking good. coffee, but it's not. And there's coffee as well. There's always biscuits and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Always perfect. Yeah. We recorded Josh, the EP Josh, with uh, a guy called Josh Gaskin <laughs> at the Bucks New Uni in uh, High Wycombe. They've got some pretty banging studios. As a band to record, they were pretty spot on. Chris, only being new to the band, absolutely blasted it out. Louis, playing bass, he's phenomenal. He just doesn't play just the normal bass notes. He actually makes inventive parts, so almost like another guitar. So with Tan and Nick's guitar playing, they've put a lot of time and dedication into the sounds they're getting. So from the moment I hit record, the recordings are already sounding great because they already know how they want to sound and they've put in the time and effort to make themselves sound like that. As well, Dan adds a really nice touch with the synth and his backing vocals just really adds a nice touch to their songs as a well. whole. The whole Indigo Cities project was a really fun one. It was a drum that I've never really worked with before, so it's interesting to see how it all comes together. I think the EP is going to end up sounding really good, and I think it will really help the band go in the direction they want to go. It's called Breathe, and uh, it's going to be released in the next couple months, hopefully. The first yeah, song's called Lost, and as you could probably tell by the name, it's probably about being lost. It's not it's sort of about it? not knowing what you're doing, really. Yeah, yeah. like kind so of being, being in that, that age, yeah. sort of a teenage age. And then we've got Fire. I think that, that's based on um, going out, like experiences kind of thing. Late nights out, never sleeping, <laughs> that kind of thing. Meeting ladies. Yeah, that will yeah. chest that. And we've got Coming Home, which is probably the more meaningful. It's about what well, everyone can relate to it, coming home after a night out, and how you're going to get home, and... Down you can relate well. to it when you say so your run phone's run dead, that. you're out of money, you're doing all that stuff. That happens sort of to you every night. It happens to me <laughs> every night. You lose night, your phone so every it's... fucking night. The last song on EP is called Breathe, and that's really just about kind of people's addiction to smoking and whatnot. Or any, any I, form, I, I, I mean, think it's any, any form. Our it's lifestyle really... is pretty heavily kind of rooted in cigarettes, or I don't know. But everybody smokes. And... Mate, <laughs> 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 Crazy oh god. Oi, no! Oi, give me a tissue, please. <laughs> no, no, you gotta leave it for like two minutes. Oh no, I can taste it in my head, mate. It's like gone everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it was pepper. It was my, my eye water. Well, it was pepper and salt. It was a very, very <laughs> salty gear. Most annoying? Well, I feel like I should do a subtle cough for lateness, but is Nick, because he's always at least an hour late for everything. I've got to say Louis. See, I'll go for Louis. Louis. Yep, yep, yep. Like, when, he, like when, he, when he's, like, intoxicated, he just very annoyed. Annoyed me, definitely. But, um, yeah, for me, Louis is definitely the most annoying. He just talks and talks. And he talks rubbish. Who's the funniest? In general? In an unintentional way, it's definitely 100% tan. Definitely tan. The funniest, especially after, because he's a bit of a lightweight, a pint, is tan. He's a crazy motherfucker, is he? He has no boundaries, that guy. I think everyone is different in their own way. So, but the craziest probably is me. Like, a couple of drinks, you know, we start doing really inappropriate things. 
if, if you're ever strapped for cash, or if we're ever strapped for cash, and we want to have a good night, we just get tan drunk. Because he's a week's worth of entertainment packed into the three hours that he manages to stay awake. <laughs> As indie represents, it's just different. You know, it's all for to be a band that they look at, recognise, and think, oh, they're cool. They're not, they, you know, they don't, we don't want comparisons. Oh, they like this band, oh, they like that band. And yeah, we just want people to sort of pick up a style from it. It's, you know, it's it's such a good vibe being a musician. You just feel complete in a way because it's people love love your music. That's what we want and what I want because that's what music's about. It's about people listening to it and happy. And I'm yeah very grateful. Hopefully, 20 years down the line, we'll probably still be portraying the same image. Don't grow up. <laughs>